Hi, this is Steve Stawning with another Steve Stawning short and sweet video training lesson. Today's lesson, the perfect appointment. Now, this 11 part series was originally recorded live as part of our Undeniable Advantage live video webcasts. To be sure you never miss a live video webcast, bookmark UndeniableAdvantage.com. Hello, my name is Steve Shawning, and you're joining me for Gaining the Undeniable Advantage. Today we're talking about the perfect appointment. Now, let's just dive right in. You know, you're probably thinking, hey Steve, we don't need no stinking appointments. Why do we need appointments anyway, right? Well, let's talk about this. You do need appointments, and here's why. Did you know that the average dealer today still only closes about one in every five of their traditional ups? That's right, 20%. But these same average dealers close roughly two out of five of their appointments without any special treatment. So given this, we already know we need appointments, right? We can go from 20% close to 40% close. But guess what? If we will give our appointments special treatment, like we call the perfect appointment, what we're going to teach today, you can expect to close 80% or more of your appointments that show up on time. And more than that, Traditional ups today, even in 2017, 2018, these things still take three hours or more to close. It doesn't make any sense. But appointments, even appointments not done right, generally take less than two hours. And the perfect appointment, when you do it right, should take you less than 60 minutes from start to finish, including F&I in your dealership. Now, dealers also receive perfect CSI scores when they do the perfect appointment. But even if you're not doing the perfect appointment, Dealers receive better CSI overall for their appointments than for their traditional ups. Now, finally, the reason that we have to go to an appointment culture and that we have to do the perfect appointment in your dealership is that today's buyers know exactly what they want. See, your up bus is dying because today's buyers are visiting fewer stores than ever before. About 10 years ago, the average buyer actually visited five dealership lots before they bought. Today, it's fewer than two dealership lots, and McKinsey and company say buyers only visit 1.6 dealers before they buy a car today. So, given this, can you afford to be third on the list for any buyer? No way, because you're not going to sell them a car. Now, today, I'm going to teach you how to execute the 2017 updated version of the perfect appointment. I'll show you what's worked for dealers over the years, and more importantly, I'm also going to tell you and show you what hasn't worked for dealers. Now, my goal is to make sure you don't repeat the same mistakes they did. Listen, it's called the perfect appointment for a reason. This means let's do it my way and then improve it. Dealers who have failed, and I've taught hundreds how to do the perfect appointment, and dealers who have failed to get to an 80% show and an 80% close all have little things that they've changed that they've decided to do instead of what we taught them with the perfect appointment. And I'm going to show you some of the things that they've done and why they're not getting 80% shows and why they're not getting 80% closed.